Hi everyone, this is Umer from Drawcademy.com. In this tutorial, I want to talk about compass calibration for the Phantom Floor. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this is again, before I go into the next steps, uh, I have not flown this drone outside yet. This has stayed indoors. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and calibrate this. It's very important to do the initial calibration and you know we're live in the application. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this red box that's telling me that you got to calibrate your drone. And I'm going to go ahead and click on calibrate. And it's going to give me a prompt that says, do you want to calibrate your drone? Do you want to start it? And I said, go ahead, OK. And then it's going to give me a visual illustration of how to move the drone. Now, because I've had the previous Phantom products, I know how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this drone right in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it clockwise, full 360 degrees until the lights turn uh, yellow or oh, sorry green and then also the remote gives you an indication that you've successfully done it so now it's telling you to tilt the drone and do the same thing 360 degrees uh, counterclockwise oh sorry clockwise so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the drone this way and carefully just go ahead and rotate full 360 and I'm gonna go ahead and put it down and here we have the application which I'm gonna go ahead and first carefully park this. I'm going to go ahead and bring my controller in the middle. And again, the prompt went away, which means I successfully calibrated. And if I go ahead and click on the top here where it says cannot take off because there's no GPS, and that makes sense because we're indoor, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it tells me that the compass calibration is normal. So that's your way to find out if the calibration successfully happened. So again, I'm going to put this remote to the side one more time if this is your first time doing it. When you're ready to calibrate, you're going to go ahead and maybe start by having the battery facing you. That's a good visual indicator. And I just literally take my hand and I do it in partial 180s. And so that would be one full one. Now, what I do is to do a complete 360, I kind of go a bit to the left. So I make sure that I've done a full 360. And then I just pick it up, rotate to the right, and just go ahead and do the same thing. And again, I don't leave it at 360, I move it past it to, to make sure that I've completed the 360 uh, degree circle just to be sure. And then I place it down and nine out of 10 times it always works. So again, that's how you do a compass calibration on the Phantom 4. Other tutorials will go into other details. Uh, if, again, if you have any questions regarding the compass calibration or errors that you're facing, uh, go ahead and use the comment section uh, to talk about it and I'll see if I can help you out with uh, any of your concerns. Thanks again, and again, it's Umer from Jokeacademy.com.